please write the generations and the importance of each, each generation. So the first generation, the important is it uses used vacuum tubes. So use vacuum tubes. Sir, Large computers. Sir? Yes. Large computers. From which part we should write? From computer generation. So I think you have done this one, right? ENIAC was the first programmable electronic general purpose computer. This part you wrote. The first page I couldn't see. Because it came. Right. Then uh, it used vacuum tubes. And large computers generated more heat, not movable. And these are the key features. Use vacuum tubes, large computers generated more heat, not movable, expensive. Related relatively. Slow. These are the key features of the particular generation. Okay, about the second generation. So can you tell about the second generation? And just give me example for first generation, okay? Please give me an example for first generation. It is ENIAC. Example, ENIAC. And you have it back. Second generation. What was the technology? Can anyone remember? We discussed this. What was the technology in the second generation? Yes. Provino? Transistors, yes, used transistors. And those were large computers, but smaller than first generation. Less power. Sorry? They consume less power? Yes, they consume less power than uh, it's generated more heat, not movable, expensive, relatively faster than the first generation. Consumes low power than first generation. That is about second generation. A third generation. Third generation. It uses integrated circuit. Yes, it uses integrated circuits. It used integrated circuits. Average size generated less heat. Consumed less power than the second generation? Yes. Exactly. It was movable, but not easy to move. And less expensive or cost was less than second generation, relatively faster than 
second generation. It consumes less power than second generation. So same thing you have to write. Right? You have to remember first generation only. If you remember the first generation, then it's very easy to write the next generation. Then, fourth generation, what was the technology in the first gen fourth generation? Yes? Microprocessors? Yes, uh, you can say used large, microprocessors is also correct, large scale integration. Sir? Yes. Very large scale integration. Use large scale integration and very large scale integration. We call LSI and VLSI, and also call microprocessors. Small computers, less seat, movable, cost was low you can buy a computer cost was low faster and consume low power even used a battery in laptops we are using battery this is in fourth generation we are in fourth generation but we have started Fifth generation two, that is ULSI, ultra large scale integrations. With artificial intelligence. That is about the fifth generation. It uses ultra large scale integration with artificial intelligence, AI. Robots, Xenobots, Robots, xenobots, so biological robots, those were in fifth generation. Faster and intelligent. Okay, please write down these key points about the generations.